Tonight, in his own words, a guard at a local juvenile facility speaking out about his ordeal on the job. Our Bree Buckley spoke exclusively with him for his take on what happened that day. Bree, good evening to you. Good evening to you, Russ. I first spoke to the family at the hospital back in October, the day after corrections officer David Upshaw was attacked. I've kept in touch with them ever since. And tonight, after recovering for over four months, he was ready to share his side of the story. Just by the grace of God, you know, I didn't die or get injured worse. It's a tough scene for David Upshaw to recall. A night back in October that started as a normal shift, working as a corrections officer at the Indian River Juvenile Corrections Facility in Massillon. A night that changed his life forever. And then all of a sudden I just felt myself going down to the ground. He was brutally attacked by one of the youth inmates. The details still fuzzy for him. I felt tugging and punching and hitting, but I couldn't see where it was there because he had hit me on this side of my face. That attack landed him in the hospital for nearly three weeks. At first, he was going into kidney and heart failure as his lungs filled with fluid. Now, four months later, he's still battling neurological and vision issues, unable to keep his balance, slowly trying to make progress on his long road to recovery. That particular night, we were talking about it, and we said, somebody's going to get seriously hurt, and not a few hours later, I get the call. David's wife, Pat, says this whole incident could have been avoided and is calling for new leadership for the Ohio Department of Youth Services. Just days after David's attack, a dozen youth inmates got out of their rooms and barricaded themselves in a school building with makeshift weapons. Days later, a similar situation at the Circleville Youth Prison just south of Columbus. Something has got to give, and I've said it time and time again, somebody's going to get killed in there. The state has since announced it will allow the use of pepper spray and body cameras for select staff at Indian River and fire the superintendent and the gang intervention specialist. But Upshaw says there needs to be more accountability to protect staff, not the youth inmates. You can get rid of all these people, then you tell me how this stuff is continuing to happen. Attacks are... So what's next for David? He says he's taking it just one day at a time and isn't angry with the teen that attacked him. Instead, he hopes this can be a lesson to him and other teens choosing a life of violence of how quick a decision can have a lasting impact. Laura, what a sad story, but what a strong man. Absolutely. And yeah. we, of course, wish him well. Thanks for following this. Of course. We appreciate it. Thanks, Bree.